then the expansion of 1 plus x to the 6 in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x cubed. So if you look in the formula booklet, you'll find this definition for the expansion of the binomial series. So make sure that you use this expansion. It looks like something where you should learn how to substitute things in, but really binomial expansion should be about learning patterns. So I have 1 plus x to the power of 6. So the first part always starts 1 plus. I then do the power times whatever my x term is, so I get 6x. And I get one term here acting as a coefficient for the power of 1. Then for my x squared term, because it's 2, I only get two terms, so I'm going to count down from 6 to 5. On the denominator here, I'm going to count up from 1 to 2. Now, I didn't have a denominator here, but if you want to, you could put a 1 to continue a pattern. This is then times x squared. And then finally, x cubed term, I'm going to get three terms multiplied together, so 6 times 5 times 4. And as a denominator, I count up from 1 times 2 times 3, so there's the same amount of terms top and bottom and this is times x cubed. So when I simplify this, I get 1 plus 6x. Cancel terms, I get 3 times 5x squared, which is 15x squared. Cancel terms again, 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 5 times 4x cubed, so I get 20x cubed. So that's part A done. Part B, so show you're working Join all your work and substitute an appropriate value for x into your expansion in part a to find an approximate value for 1 plus 1 to the power of 6. So what we're saying here is 1 plus 1, 1.1 1 .1, sorry, to the power of 6 is equal to 1 plus x to the power of 6. Or that 1.1 1 .1 is equal to 1 plus x. If I subtract 1 from both sides, I get that 0 0.1 is equal to x. So I'm going to substitute x equals 0 0.1 into my expansion. So I get 1 plus, and I'm going to put 1.1 1 .1 to the power of 6. And let's just change these, because technically speaking, I should have an approximation sign, because it's not going to be exactly 1 plus 6 lots of 0 0.1, plus 1 plus, should be a squared there, sorry, 15 lots of 0 0.1 squared, plus 20 lots of 0 0.1 cubed. Okay, so the first two terms, easy, 1 plus 6 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.6. 0 0.1 squared, 1 times 1 is 1, and then 1 decimal place here times 1 decimal place would give you 2 decimal places, so I get 0 0.01. Plus 20 lots of 0 0.1 cubed, 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. So this time, I've got 1 decimal place times 1 decimal place times 1 decimal place, gives me 3 decimal places. So just taking your time, making sure I make no silly mistakes. So I've got 1.6 plus 0.15 plus 0 0.020. You may find this a little bit easier if you do a column addition. So 1.6 is three decimal places for the local number. So I can do this as 1.600 plus 0 0.0. 0 0.0. 0 0.0. 0 0.0. 0 0.15. That should be a naught there. Plus 0 0.0. 2, oh, and so when I add these together, I get 1, oh sorry, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 2 is 7, 6 plus 1 is 7, 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1.77. So 1 1.1 to the power of 6 can be approximated as 1.77. Okay, so let's have a look to see how the marks are awarded in this question. You get two marks if you get to the full correct expansion at this point here. If you've got three correct terms, any three ter correct terms, you can have one mark. Next, you can have a method mark if you've attempted to substitute that z x is 0 0.1 into that expansion. And then you can have an accuracy mark if you've got at least three terms of this correct in doing so. Your final accuracy mark is given for getting an answer for an approximation of 1.77, and that's a correct answer only mark. 
Okay, I hope that all made sense and you understood the question.